we needed offense. Uh, we talked about it. Uh, we hadn't had any really all, all weekend, and, and we, we came out with it today. So, you know, great job by the team to, to come out and get the runs we needed. We've been here before, so we know, like, we know what we have to do. Um, we knew that we had to be scoring more runs, uh, take, take a little pressure off our pitchers. So we came out and we did just that, and it, we got the best of it. With the pitchers that were on the mound tonight, with, with Aaron and, and Ronnie on the mound, you know, I sat, I sat there for a minute and went, maybe one nothing is going to be the, the, the game again, you know. But, uh, you know, I really liked our approach at the plate. And, you know, and, I'll, and when we were up 5 nothing, I felt real confident. And credit to Akron, they came back and they, uh, you know, they pushed Ronnie. And, uh, and then, you know, credit back to our team for coming back and answering their three runs with six. Uh, Maddie looked real good at the plate. Erica, Warren, uh, everybody had, you know, real good approaches. Shelby did a great job today. Uh, you know, it's hard to pick any a couple people because you know it's really when you score 13 rounds, it's a it's a team effort. Uh, and you know, and Akron didn't go away. They kept they kept battling. They got very good hitters on that team. Hair toward right side of second base in the outfield. Chopper is fair down the third base line. Here comes Spears rounding, heading for home. She scores standing up. A base hit down the third base line by Ladinas. The 3-1 pitch. Uh, swinging a line drive towards center, going back and over the head. It is gone. A home run for Erica Warren. A three-run bomb to dead center, the deepest part of the yard, and the Flashes lead 11 to three. For Erica Warren. The set from Best and the two, the one-two pitch, the grounder toward third, dropped at third by Gambone has no play and a run scores. We know that. Uh... We're gonna have to come out and take care of business. Same thing, we, we can't let up with our offense. We gotta keep putting it to them. Um, it'll, be a, it'll be a brawl. This team you know, has been in the MAC tournament 13 years in a row, so that means all, all of these players have been in the MAC tournament every year of their career. Our seniors, this is where they have to step up and talk to the freshmen and say, hey, this is the MAC tournament. This is how you gotta do it. We're, right now, we gotta work our way back through the, the loser's bracket, and that means uh, playing good teams, and at this point, um, we're down to four teams now. Uh, you know, there's four teams that have gone home, and there's four teams left, and uh, and it's the top four teams. So that's that's you know we're, we're facing good competition, and every level we'll go, it's going to get tougher and tougher. So. The one-one, uh, swinging a line shot, glove bot, rim at third base. Just like on Wednesday, a hard shot to third is gloved by Grimm to end the ball game. And Kent State eliminates the Zips here at the Max Softball Tournament. A 13-6 win over the Akron Zips.